welcome friends to excel beginners and advanced tips and from today i want to create a pre petrol pump management software uh, step by step and for these friends i need a database first database of the product this will be our product master database you can you can say so for this we need field names of the database like product id product name or name anything name just two fields this is our master fields this is the product master data database and friends here we need to enter product name and product id from user form with a user form and here product id will be auto generated and for this friends i am going to create a user form first going to develop a tab visual basic and insert user form so friends here is the user form and friends i will design the user form later just to enter the data as the required data in into our database product database we need some controls like labels like a label and text box for entering product name here and a command button to add just change the name uh, change the label caption of the label that is product name like this product name you can enhance this and then the label of command button one is add so i want to add product name with with uh, entering data into our text box one that is the name of the text box is text box one and uh, when we ent uh, click on add button the respective the respective data of, uh, of the text box will be entered in our product name uh, cell of the sheet one so for this writing we want to write the codes just going to double click into add button and here we friends here we need the last row of the cell we need to find out the last row of the cell you can uh, more specifically the last the blank cell the next blank cell where from where the entry will be started so we can say last row we have done this before many times so this will be applicable here sheet one dot cells rows dot count comma one dot excel dot dot end then excel will go up and for the blank row for the next blank row we need to write offset one comma zero one row for the next blank row means the one row after the after the row one just just second row uh, just uh, just does the next row of the row where data is existed then row and here we need a for loop friends for x is equal to say 2 to last row and for entering product name automatically we can write sheet 1 dot first cell x comma 1 that first column first mean first one means first column not x we can say last row last row comma 1 that is uh, the value of the first column of the cell uh, of the of the of the sheet 1 is equal to x x the value has been assigned to 2 here i need the name of the product will start from 1 so minus 1 we can say we can type this and next 
and then for the next column of the sheet one second column we can write sheet one dot sales for the product name last row comma two is equal to sheet uh, sorry is equal to user form or user form one actually user form one dot text box one dot value this will be the this will be for the product name and friends here we can give apply we can actually apply a proper case function so that anything can is will be that will be entered in in the text box will be in proper case worksheet function here work sheet function dot proper so this will change the text into proper case which will be entered in our text box one of the user form and here we need x minus one we need a prefix like p or anything for product say p with a concat concatenation operator ampersand x minus one and it will prefix the p before the number so let's check this what happens if i run this program run this say petrol so let's write type it in lower case or anything petrol add debug the spelling mistake last last oh my god row r we need a r we need to correct spelling spelling should be correct otherwise uh, the program will not run see friends petrol has been entered in our product name and product id p1 and next if we type diesel add c product is being added c mobile c i am typing in lower case but it, it is automatically converted into proper case c product mobile has been entered here so friends thus we can add our master uh, 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 add the product name in our master database that is called product and friends here we can also take a list box so that this can be seen in a list box within the user form so just going to our user form and taking a list box here list box just below the list box here i will design friends uh, when i will complete the whole uh, software then i will design it so that it can look better but before this i need to i need to write uh, actual codes for complete our pro project step by step so here i want to insert the product id and product name in our list box this is our list box one you can see the name of our uh, this list box is list box one and for writing and for adding items whenever the form will be loaded we need to write the code in the form initialize e uh, event or procedure so for this just clicking anywhere in the blank area of the form and not click event i want to write it initialize event and here friends i need the same the same code here and just to modify this here i know i don't need offset because i want to i want i need to count the number of rows here i need i need to find out the total number of rows here so we can we can type we can next for the next we can type here uh, list box one dot column column count we need only two column friends because for product id and product name 
is equal to 2 and then list box 1 dot add item is equal to add item next list box 1 dot list and list box 1 dot list index sorry list count sorry this count minus 1 this is the row index and the column index is 0 is equal to sheet 1 dot cells x comma 1 for these friends I need the for loop and also I need to find out the last row of the database and similarly I can copy this and paste this for our next field that is next column 1 and it will be the 2 of the sheet 1 so just close it next and see what happens if I run this just yes friends you can see our product has been added to our list box so thus friends we can add a list box here and here friends just we want to add another products or we want to add another products like this LPG if I want to add LPG here LPG C add it has been added to our sheet we can see sheet 1 a P4 LPG but in the list box it is not updated so to update this we need to write some codes into add button so that it can be updated here first user form unload actually we want to unload and show unload user form unload user form 1 this is the first user form and user form to one dot show this will refresh the whole program and will be seen see when the form will be loaded the update data will be updated data where the data will be updated in our list box also actually here we need to we need to uh, we need uh, here I, gi I gave the two codes for refreshing the user form so that it can be uploaded with a f uh, fresh for the for, for the uh, it can be up uh, it can be uh, uh, loaded again it can be uploaded it, it can be loaded again so friends the let's check this before checking this we uh, I am deleting it manually just delete this and I want to add this item again so that everything will be seen in the and everything in, in the proper manner so petrol say petrol add see petrol has been added here yes list box uh, also been updated and text box has been blank and here if we click add button there will be a blank row friends see see there is no item but it is being added see it is being added see it is being added in the sheet one so to prevent this we can give a condition here if this blank row is if the if the text box is blank then there will be no adding addition and the, uh, and it will be it will prompt a message that it cannot be blank so going back and going to add add and on the top we can we can uh, write if text box one dot value text spelling mistakes occurring one dot value one dot value is equal to null then sorry then 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 message box message box product name like this anything product name blank exclamatory sign 
product that means product product name cannot be blank then we can exit from the sub end if end if okay if i give this little condition then if i keep the if i keep the uh, text box one that is this text box one blank and trying to add items let's see what happens see product name blank so there will be no addition you can see there will be no addition in our sheet one see friends just again going back and again deleting this and now i want to add item freshly so type petrol and add yes it has been added if i click on add say see product name blank it cannot be blank so okay and then type diesel and add it has been added in the sheet one and simultaneously it also being added in our list box and uh, lpg add and mobile add this is being added automatically so friends i will design and changing the font size color everything uh, of our forms later first i want to show you how step by step we can create a petrol pump management software easily so for the for, for this moment friends i show you how to add the our required product and in our next video i will show you how to add our product uh, and how to sell and how to sell or how to purchase and for purchase we we, we need to write codes uh, for addition of data in our sheets like date of date of purchase product id will be will come automatically name will be come na name will come automatically i quantity and we need to type just quantity and rate amount will be calculated automatically and transaction id will be automatically done here and for this we need another user form and friends and uh, i will do this in a, in my next video and for this moment i am concluding here with this user form i did not uh, design this i will design it later beautifully design it i will de de design it in a beautiful manner before that i need to complete the whole course for for making this software so thank you friends thank you very much for accompanying with me and if it is little helpful to you uh, please subscribe this channel and it will be a great joy for us thank you very much friends once again